G'day guys, we're back, oh, and there's a hair. Um, I thought I would do a, I uh, suppose it would be an open cup, but like a jiggly wiggly pour. So I did, and um, I thought I'd show everybody not to forget to make sure their canvases are level. And I have the pins on tonight. So, I, uh, and because it's one where I don't need to flood the canvas, I was able to show you guys. Alrighty. So, the colours that I decided to do tonight is, I'm doing some Amsterdam, just titanium white. And then I'm going to do um, Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. And then also some Amsterdam permanent blue violet and I thought I'd just see how those three colors decided they might like to play with each other and I just knocked my camera there we go why is it like that let me just do this a little bit there we go that's a bit better okay so I will start by layering my paints and I mixed all my paints uh, with Floetrol and they were about two to one, maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, just until I could get the mound where it disappears so yeah alrighty now I'll put in the green and I'm hoping to get three layers if I can and the blue violet white green Violet again. More white. Save a little bit of white because I want to put a little bit of white um, on the top. So I do. And now the boys have decided they're going to give their two bobs worth. They've been pretty good all night while I've been mixing. They haven't really been very vocal. I don't know what they've heard to make them decide to do that. That is my, uh, my daughter's two cockatiels, Oliver and Phoenix. Now the violet. I'm hoping I've mixed up enough. I don't really do these, so I'm not quite sure how much paint to mix. Oh, it's a bit of a guessing game for me. I 
was about, I suppose, 80 grams of each colour. And now the white. So I have been busy, busy today, finishing off my little setup here, moving everything off and putting it on my tables, and it's coming up very lovely. I was actually hoping to get resin work done today, but this took up all my time, so it did. All right. Now, I'm thinking I want to have, and I dribbled it down the sides, look at that. That's all right. I'm thinking I want to have my canvas on a little bit of a angle, slight decline. So I'll just put my little level underneath it. And I might start about a quarter of the way down. Oh, will I put that under? No, I won't. I'll take it out and I might start in the middle so we'll see how it goes and then I'm going to just do a little jiggly pour like this Alrighty, wow, okay. Uh, I can see quite a few bubbles in there. I might just pop those. See if I can get my torch to work tonight. Hopefully it won't play up on me. So far, so good. There's still a couple of big bubbles in there, but anyway. Alrighty, I'll start moving this paint around a little. Just wondering if I need to put down a bit of paint just to give me a bit of flow so I don't lose too much of this. I think I might. How much white do I have? I'll just put down some of my white house paint. It'll fall off anyway, so it won't matter, but it'll just um, just make it a bit easier to flow, so my colours won't roll underneath each other, and I'll lose that beautiful pattern.
Alrighty. That looks pretty good to me. Wipe my stick so I can use it again next time. I try and uh, recycle as much as my stuff as possible. I've got a few more bubbles there. I'll get them again. See what we can't make of this beauty. Yes, if I didn't want to use that flow extender, I know now I should have mixed up more paint. But that's all right. That's all right because we fixed it. I lost my pretty angel wings, so I did. Don't really want to lose that green from the top. that? Where did that come from? Oh, look at these pretty cells. Beautiful. Bring that back down this way, I think. I'm going to stretch them out a bit. Loving that. Really, really loving that. Got a lot more bubbles in there, too. Let's wipe my hands off a little bit. me. A little more popping. Where'd they all come from? Little blighters. All right, fixing them all now. Looks like it's got the chicken pock. Okay, now let me look at this. Should I take some of this off? I wonder, I wonder how much paint is left on there. Yeah, a bit by the look of it. 
maybe I should tip off a little bit off this end. I'm not going to do this end because I'm loving these cells here. I take a little, and I really don't want to lose this, but it is what it is. So I just take off a little bit. I don't want to lose this corner, and I don't want to lose this corner. And try and take it straight down the middle if I can. Gently tip it. You want to stretch that back out? I think I do. Yeah. Okay. Try and just take a bit more off. Sides. I need some white. Oh, good. All righty. Let's try. Make sure this is level. Yep. And I think I'm loving that. There's more bubbles in it though. You can see them all when I move and the light hits them. Yeah. Go and paint. Alright, hit it a little again. Sweet as. What do you think, guys? I'm loving it. I really am. Absolutely love this. And I love that, how it comes down. Absolutely beautiful. So, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. And we've done this together. And if you like it, please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to scrape under your canvas to stop it pulling off your beautiful artwork. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you guys. Muchly appreciated to everybody who already has and who supports me by watching my channel. I really, really appreciate that. And um, yeah, feel free to share. And I have the info um, in the description box. Feel free to jump on and join um, my Facebook group. It is a, a group where you can share any form of art. So any kind of art that you've made, whether it be painting or the pendulum swing painting or resin work or jewelry making or whatever it is anything you've made jump on there and share it with everybody get opinions get advice get help if needed 
um, I'll link that in the description box also. So yeah, alrighty. Until next time, guys. Take care and bye for now.